Hey everybody, this is Sam from Samuel Plays Brass. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Clearwater Music Center. We get a lot of interesting horns coming through the shop, but this one is really something else. So opening the case, we have a two-part French horn. We have this screw-on bell and the body here. And if we put them together, we'll notice some interesting things. <laughs> So when I first took this horn out of the case, I noticed a couple of curious things. First of all, these valve slides for valves 1, 2, and 3 are pretty short. I thought to myself, okay, maybe this is a B-flat F horn instead of an F B-flat horn. Most horns here in America will play in F by default, and then you press the trigger to pitch them up to B-flat. I thought, okay, maybe this is the other way around, but here's where the second peculiarity comes in. There is only one row of tuning slides. On a typical American F horn, you'll have the B flat slides and then the F slides on top of them. You have two tiers of tuning slides. There is only one there. So when that's the case, the fourth rotor can't really adjust the tuning of any of these other three valves. It can only add general length to the instrument, which is different from how most horns work. The trouble is, if you look at the length it's adding to the instrument, it doesn't seem to be any anything very mathematically precise. This is a half step, this is a whole step, and this is right in the middle. And accordingly, when you play the horn, without the trigger, it sounds like it's in B flat. And with the trigger, it's somewhere in between A and A flat. It's pretty scary. So what does one do with a fourth rotor that pitches the instrument down three quarters of a step? That took a lot of thinking. And like I said, I only came up with two very half-baked ideas on the topic. As trumpet players, we know the pain of having to play these low fingerings and having to kick out our third slides. Obviously on this instrument with your hand rummaged up the bell, it's kind of hard to have a third hand reaching around and grabbing slides. So what you could do, for instance, for this uh, concert B natural or written C sharp fingering, it plays very, very sharp in comparison to open, right? What if we replace this half step with this kind of demented half step? It ends up being a lot more in tune. And similarly with this fingering, one and three, what if we kind of moved it up half a step and then activated this valve? It's arguably more in tune. So for those concert C's and B naturals, we can kind of use that. And the fourth rotor also extends the range of the instrument by about half a step. So that takes you down to standard E natural, which you could again do floor to uh, lower the pitch a little bit and then with the with the fourth valve added you get an E flat I can only think of a couple scenarios where that one half a step would make it or break it versus actually having range down there thanks to an F horn but in any case that is the only other idea I could think of <laughs> But if the question is, is it worth learning alternate fingering systems for the sake of Concert B e Natural and Concert E Flat? The answer is just no. It's not practical. And taking those previous clips, I fumbled the fingering so many times because it just feels awkward. It feels wrong. Even though I'm only rewriting the fingerings for a couple of the notes, it's just not worth all the hassle. This is a fully functional three valve B flat horn plus whatever that thing is, right? It's a decent instrument. It has good response, uh, good clarity, good flexibility. It's a very agile instrument as far as horns go. Uh, intonation is fine minus the woeful major third partial. You almost have to use an alternate fingering on that depending on the context, but it does fine. The sound is very bright for my sensibilities and I think it has a little bit of tinniness in there as is characteristic of cheap instruments.
It's, like I said, a three valve horn plus an extra thing on the end. I wouldn't go as far as to diss it that much and say that you cannot use this horn because of whatever this puzzling thing is, but at the same time, I don't know what that fourth rotor is doing there. I don't know what purpose it serves. The two reasons I came up for it are absolutely insane and provide no practical benefit besides one slightly lower note. So if you know what the deal with this thing is, please let me know in the comments. This has been a really interesting review to do. Uh, you can check out some more normal and conventional instruments up in my instrument review playlist. That'll be linked in the card for you to check out. Thanks again for watching. Like I said, this has been the Soul Instruments French Horn pitched in B-flat plus extra thing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the flip side. Oh.